Good evening. I found a spare five minutes in my busy day uh, to make a video. And behind me you can see Callie, our little black cat. And I'm sat on the new couch, courtesy of my wonderful mother-in-law. Thank you very much. Uh, this video is just going to be a rundown of the subbies that I've used this week, well last week. Um, I felt like I had a really quiet week, but I subbed five jobs out, which is quiet, but still we'll go over them. It depends, depends per mile and the mileage. And uh, you can see the very high, high prices that have been charged this week. Well, I think they're quite high anyway, we'll see what you think. Right, so Monday the 5th. Uh, Bolton to Manchester only 14 miles small van job and it cost me 30 quid it's a minimum charge for a small van 30 quid normally I was expecting a bit higher actually but 30 quid was all right but it was two pound 14 a mile so small vans small jobs and small vans in city centers do pay well uh, keep that in mind if you are planning on running a small van city centers city to city Bolton to Manchester Manchester to Birmingham Great jobs for you. Uh, next one was Wednesday the 7th, which was Birmingham to Stockport. This was 104 miles for a Luton, uh, and it was £200. So that's £1.92 per mile. So that's coming up to the max I'll pay for a Luton. I don't really like paying that much, but needs must, and uh, let's say this week past, uh, I've actually struggled selling a few jobs. So I've had to go with higher prices and some drivers that have bad feedback, which I wouldn't normally do, but I've not had a choice. So let's move on to Thursday the 8th, was um, TA6 to Newport, South Wales. It's 49 miles for a small wheel ba wheelbase van. It took me a little while to sell this one. Uh, £100, so that's £2 and 4p per mile loaded, the driver was in the area, he quoted me, he said he was 5 minutes away, took him 45 minutes to get there, um, and there was a bit of handball, uh, so we, it was a bit cheaper, I think it was around £80 and we, uh, increased, uh, I increased it to £100 because um, of the handball. But yeah, hundred pound for a small wheelbase van for forty nine miles, so two pound over two pound a mile. Friday the ninth, uh, Friday I submitted a job out from Ashbourne, which is where I quite often collect from myself, and it was coming back to me. Um, Leanne was at a funeral; I had to stay at home with the kids, so instead of doing the collection myself like a ward, I sent a van in. I know I can get a certain amount on my van. Other drivers, if I send them, send them in for that amount, they won't get it on, they struggle, they can't put it in all the right places. So I chose to send a bigger van, so I sent a Luton. Also, I went to tail lift in a pump truck because I was dropping them off their van onto my driveway. Um, so I paid for a Luton to pick up. Uh, it was 70 miles and it was £125 for that. Uh, so that was £1.78 a mile, which is actually the cheapest mileage rate I've paid for this week. And that was for a Luton. Then uh, Friday again was Slough to PE28. So it was picking up from Slough within a two and a half hour time slot. And dropping in PE28 this morning. So obviously I'm looking for someone who lives in that area, someone who uh, doesn't mind running out in the morning to drop it off. Uh, it was 79 miles for a small van, and this cost me £145. So £1.84 a loaded mile. Yeah, it was delivering on Saturday. It was one small box. Um, but yeah, £1.84 for a small van. Um, I did also say that I didn't mind because it was picking up in the early afternoon so it was picking up between I put the job up for between I think it was like half 11 till half 2 it, um, I struggled to sell it for quite a while it eventually got sold about half 11 12 o'clock ish and it got picked up at quarter to 3 
um, which the lads on site were not very happy about because they wanted to go home. Because they finished for the day in the morning, they were just waiting for someone to pick it up, and I couldn't find anyone. Yeah, so um, that was quite expensive for a small van, but it, it needed to be covered for the drivers. Uh, so, yeah. Very expensive week. Very expensive on the CX. Uh, these are some of the highest costs I've had uh, from drivers so far, especially especially the likes of £2 a mile for a small wheelbase. <sighs> yeah. Um, I've got a job on the CX for Monday. Now this is calling out to anybody that's got a Luton tail lift that can fit 2.3 meters through the rear doors or you can angle it and then stand it up inside at 2.3 meters it just needs to be stand stood up for the journey uh so it's collecting between eight and nine o'clock in the morning from ig1 it's a wait and return so it's going from ig1 to birmingham deliver the cabinet reload a flat pack cabinet so instead of being two and two and a half meters tall or 2.3 meters tall it'll be two meters long by a meter wide in a big box and then re-deliver it back to ig1 asap it's 260 miles in total um i've had i have had quotes on it unfortunately the people that have phoned so far actually re could, didn't read it properly and didn't realise they needed either a tail lift to get it on the van or needed the height uh, room. So unfortunately none of them could do it and they were all in excess of £2.20 a mile, which was uh, very high. So if there is anybody out there that watches these videos that has a Luton that can take that sort of height, get in touch with me please tomorrow before Monday morning. And we'll get you uh, booked in. Yeah, so what what is your opinion on those prices? Uh, I speak to quite regular um, other drivers. And I know how much they're charging, roughly. And you obviously, if you're watching my videos, you probably watch other people's videos, like Saints Man, Anvil Dave, Tall Man, Small Man. Uh, and some prices I spoke about occasionally. The prices I've been quoted this week are nothing compared... Well, they're, they're massive. I mean, massive compared to um, what I know other people are charging. I don't know if it's just me that's seeing this or if there's anyone else out there that watches these that sub his jobs out. Are you seeing a massive price increase as well? And um, should we all be putting our prices up? Because I actually did one or two CX jobs this week and I ran at a normal rate. And I... I the one day that I did just CX jobs, I did actually struggle to get CX jobs. So yeah, it's been a strange old week. Oh, also on Thursday, I uh, went to the rescue of another CX driver. Uh, I just got home from my run and I got a phone call uh, from a bloke called Jim. Really, really nice guy. Uh, he took a job on the CX and unfortunately his van had broke down. He was in Wigan, about 25 minutes from my house, and asked if I could come, take the load and finish it off, taking it to Bradford. And he said he was willing to pay me everything he was getting, but I did it at a discount so he could keep a bit. Uh, I did only run at a pound a mile for that, but I was helping another driver out. And if we can help each other out, that's a good thing. Now, I've rambled on for nearly 10 minutes, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. If you want me to make a video on anything in particular, let me know. I do have a few videos that I need to make, people have asked me about, and I will be making them as soon as I can, when I get time. Perfect. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.